let me show you the demo of what I have shown you so far that how DynamoDB tables look like so that it is embedded in your mind that yes this is how DynamoDB looks like right because you are going to learn this in this video series on DynamoDB so let me show you now I have logged into AWS web console and you can see that this is the same account which I am using which I have created in one of the video on how to create a free AWS account if you are not aware that how to create a free AWS account how you can leverage the power of AWS free of cost right then please watch my other video on AWS how to create a free AWS account which is valid for 12 months now once you get your account created you log in there and now if i type dynamo db here on this services panel it shows me dynamo db here i can bookmark it as well right so so that it appears here when i click here it tells me that which region i am in right right now i am in asia pacific mumbai or i can select north virginia or any region i can select you should be aware about the cost of that particular region that how much DynamoDB will charge you to create tables for that particular region. It is not only create tables but all the operations. For now I have mentioned create table because we have just started with DynamoDB. Later in this course I am going to show you all those things related to Amazon DynamoDB so let me show here tables right now there is no table if I click on create table so it will ask me table name it asks me table details DynamoDB and schema less database let me give it a name of students okay then partition key now you see the table has become active let us see once I click on it I can see overview of this partition key sort key right now in our case it is a combination partition key and sort key combined are making a primary key for this table if you are coming from the relational database background then you will be clear about primary key but in case you are not coming from relational database background then also what does it mean it means that student id and class both combined makes a unique record for this particular student so indexes again i will not get into the details of this for now explore table items right now there is no table item created here i will create an item here so only mandatory fields are student id and class because these we have mentioned as partition key and sort key student id i will say one and or maybe i will say neeraj right and class i will say 10th and i will say create and if i say here auto preview it will show me the records below I will have to click on scan run and it has shown me this records Neeraj 10 right I can create a new item let us say John 12 I can add new attribute let us say it is of type string age 17 years create item Now if you see here both of these students are having different fields. John is having age field but Neeraj does not have any value for this age field. So this is perfectly fine in the world of NoSQL databases as well as DynamoDB also. So when we click on this Neeraj and I see the values or I see value in JSON format you can see that this is student id and class there is no age attribute present here 
right that is what i mentioned earlier now this is basically a dynamo db json format and this is the normal json format from here you can toggle between those so for now i am going to delete this table to avoid cost right so you should also create this table on aws console or i will let you know how you can download dynamo db on your local system whether you are using desktop or laptop you can download dynamo db to work on it without any cost and i will also show you the gui interface for dynamo db so that you can easily data model with dynamo db that also i am going to show you in this video series after that we'll start working on this dynamo db i will cover different concepts of dynamo db so for now i am going to go update table settings so from here i can delete this table you are able to delete a table students delete all cloudwatch alarms we do not want to create any backup so please make sure that this checkbox is not selected and write delete here and yeah your table will be deleted it's it is going to be deleted and please make sure once you come back please remember in which region you had created your dynamo db table so that this is a common confusion while working in aws that you select some region create some services you forget to shut down those services stop those services later on you switch on to some other regions and you incur charges for the services which you have not stopped now let me show you how to install dynamo db on your local system so in my case i am running windows 10 i will show you how to download it on windows 10 for now i am logging out of this AWS console. 